Good evening. You're on the air. Yeah. Hi, Bill. How you doing? This is Craig. Good. <clears throat> Say, uh, I got a bitch about something. These people keep wondering what the heck is going on with this election. Have they ever thought of picking up the Bill of Rights? Have they ever thought of reading the Constitution? Have they ever thought of getting one of their kids's, not their, not the new books, but some of the older books, and looking up constitutional history and finding out exactly what the government's about, because the forefathers wrote the Constitution in very plain, simple language. The problem with the United States public is, is guess what? They're listening to way too many lawyers, and the Congress is full of nothing but the stinking rotten bastards, and I'll tell you what, all they have done is completely screwed up the United States. The Constitution speaks for itself. The forefathers were intelligent men, so intelligent that I'll tell you what, not one single person that I know of today can even pass a ninth, or excuse me, an 1896 grammar school graduate test. Yeah, you're right. That is how stupid the United <laughs> States public is. Well, you're right about that. That's right. Isn't you know that? what? The forefathers, they were so intelligent that guess what? They knew that, royer, that lawyers were dirty, rotten, stinking bastards. Yeah, they, they were actually barred from the colonies for many years. And, That's and right. any lawyer or attorney caught in any of the 13 colonies was hung. That's right. And you know what? I'll tell you what. The one thing that really ticks me off is that let's look at the percentages of how many of the senators right now are lawyers. Gee. Well, Gee, that's not senators. I think there's 97 of them are lawyers, isn't well, it? Well, that's not the senators' fault. That's whoever put them there. That's, that's their right. fault. And and guess who that is? The sheeple. That's right. Uh, one thing I'd like to bring up a comment before I let you go here. Before um, you before you let me go. Or, you know what I'm saying. I I got the button. <laughs> I know you. Just do. in case you're confused. <laughs> well, you I don't got the me button. Off yet, it's <laughs> my button. Go <laughs> ahead. I didn't mean that like that. I'm sorry. Uh, the thing I was going to say was. No matter how many times they recount these votes, no matter how many times they pull the stuff through this, do you think, seriously, that Bill Clinton wants to stay in the White House on a permanent basis and he knows that he's going to be elected? There is, uh, well, let me put that rumor to bed right now. There is no way in the world that Bill Clinton is going to be in the White House one second past the time when he's supposed to be out of it. I, I believe it. Period. So all of you people passing all those rumors around that Bill that this whole thing is engineered to keep Bill Clinton in the White House, you're just as dumb as all the other sheeple out there that think all this other bullshit. It would it's go not going to gonna happen. It would go to the Speaker of the House, wouldn't it? It would go to whoever the Electoral College decides it is. If they have a tie, then it will go to the House of Representatives and the Senate to elect a president and vice president, if they tie, then there is a chain of, of succession that will be decided, and there will be a new president come January the 21st who will be inaugurated, and Bill Clinton will not be in the White House. But, uh, yeah, the only thing I have to say to close this with is uh, an old saying that Mark Twain said, Republicans are Democrats, not a dime's worth the difference between the two. That's right. Well, we have changed it to a new bet. Thanks, <laughs> Bill. See you later. Thanks for calling. Five two zero three 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 four five seven eight is the number. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining.